Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to find your first monarch butterfly egg. Now you may not get it the first try, but with the right method and a bit of persistence, you'll find one in no time. The first step to finding monarch eggs is finding milkweed. This is because monarch butterflies lay their eggs on the underside of milkweed plants. There are four main types of milkweed. Three of them have the white milky sap substance inside of them, which makes it easier to identify. The one that doesn't is called the butterfly milkweed, which you may want to use a picture to identify. The other three are showy milkweed, swamp milkweed, and common milkweed. The common milkweed is the one that is most common, and you can find it within your neighborhood and in most parks and even community gardens. Now I'll show you how I found a monarch egg. So this is a milkweed plant, and you can tell it's a milkweed because once you rip off a bit of the leaf, there's this milky substance coming out. Usually it's kind of sticky. Monarch butterflies usually lay their eggs on the underside of a leaf. So today we're going to see if we can find one on the milk. And there, there we have one. So you can tell that it's a monarch egg because it's round and it's kind of whitish, yellowish. So once you have your monarch egg, you can pinch off the stem or use a scissor to just cut the stem off. And it's going to leak some of that milky substance. So have a damp piece of paper towel ready and wrap the stem in that paper towel. You can also wrap foil over it to preserve the water. This way the leaf will remain alive. Once you have that, you can then store it in a bag or in a container later on. So some things to be mindful of, make sure you don't squish your egg. So when you're looking for monarch eggs, make sure to only flip the tip of the leaf and not to fully grab the leaf. As well, when you're wrapping tinfoil, if your egg is close to the stem, be sure not to wrap the paper and foil over the egg and squish it. Monarch eggs usually hatch in three to five days, so if yours doesn't, it's probably not a monarch egg. Then again, you can use references online to see if it is indeed a monarch egg. Now that you have your leaf and your egg, I can show you what equipment I use when I raise monarch butterflies. So we'll start with the containers. Throughout the various stages of your caterpillar life, you may want to use different sizes of containers. For example, when you start with your egg and your leaf, you may want to put it into a smaller container. When your caterpillar hatches and starts to shed skin and grow bigger, you may want to switch to a medium-sized container and eventually to the biggest container size that you have. Ideally, your container should be transparent and should have an associated lid with it. Finally, when you get to the butterfly stage, you'll want to uh, specialize your container a bit more and we'll get into that when that stage has come. Next, we're going to introduce our lids. So, you sh your container should have an associated lid with it, and ideally it should be plastic, since you want to poke holes in it so that your caterpillar can breathe and survive. When, when it's just an egg, you can just put any kind of lid on it as long as it's not too tight. When your egg hatches and becomes a caterpillar, you'll want to poke holes into a lid that can fit perfectly onto the container. Eventually, you'll want to get to this kind of lid, since this is the kind of lid that you need when you get to the chrysalis stage and when your caterpillar eventually becomes a butterfly. That will be explained in later episodes. So now we have some additional equipment that might be helpful for you. First of all, we have our paper towels. Now it doesn't matter what color you're using, whether it's brown or white, we're using white. 
Paper towels serve two main purposes. One is to preserve water in the milkweed leaf and prevent it from shriveling up. This can be achieved by dampening the paper towel and wrapping it around the stem part of the milkweed leaf. Secondly, it can be used to catch any waste materials that the caterpillar may choose to drop. This can be done by putting paper towel at the bottom of the container and this way it makes cleaning much easier. We'll go more in depth with this later on in our later videos. Secondly, we have our tin foil. So tin foil goes hand in hand with damp paper towels. They help preserve water in the leaf. You can do this by wrapping tin foil over the paper towels and this way the paper towels don't lose as much water. Third, we have our mini syringe or an eyedropper. This is mainly for convenience. This way you don't have to take apart the tin foil and re-dampen the paper towel every time. Finally, we have our little brush. This will go into deeper detail when we are cleaning the container. For now, let's go back to our egg. Now that you have your egg, you can place it into your small container if you have one. If you don't, don't worry, just put it into a transparent container. After that, you can just lightly put the lid on top of it. You don't have to push it in because the caterpillar hasn't come out yet, especially if you don't have a lid with holes in them. So now, all you have to do is wait. If your egg is really light or yellow, you may have to wait three to five days. We will check in with our caterpillars once their eggs have hatched in the next video. If you have any questions, please don't forget to comment. And if you like the video, please share with anybody else who might like it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.